Hey, Christian Meyer here. And we all, uh, we all ride. We're all cycling fans. And we all know the one thing that goes with riding, nothing better than coffee. So here today, I'm gonna give you my top five coffee tips for a great brew. Now listen. So before we get on to the tips, I'm gonna quickly explain the process of making a brew. Grind the beans, put them in the porta filter, tamp them in the machine, pull the shot, make the milk, pour the drink. And now here's tip number five. My number five tip obviously is practice. I mean, you can see all the fancy hearts and this and that, but as you can see, sometimes they don't always all work out. So my attempt of a tulip is obviously going to need a lot more of tip number five. And my number four tip is milk. You know, we don't do any of this non-fat, skinny, latte, yada yada stuff here. This is the real deal, three and a half percent. Best milk from Girona, organic milk. It's gonna give you the best brew every time. Another thing with the milk is the temperature. Obviously, we've all gone to the cafes, you know, certain chain cafes. You go to take your first sip of your nice drink, what do you do? You burn your tongue off. That's not what we want. Milk, you steam it until you can hold the pitcher for no longer than three seconds. It's too hot to touch, milk's done. That's about 60 to 70 degrees maximum. My number three tip is the machine. So coffee machines are a lot like cars. You know, you can get a nice pod machine, sort of like your Ford Fiat, or you know, you can go a bit higher up, get your Lamborghini, get your Ferrari, and that's what I got here. Rocket, handmade in Italy. So our number two tip is your grinder. I got some beans in here. So what we got here is what we call a burr grinder. Most people at home have these grinders with the blades and they do this spinning motion. It's more of a chopping. We actually want to grind beans and not chop them up into little pieces. So a burr grinder gives you the best consistency, which means the best coffee. And our number one tip at the end of this whole coffee thing is your beans. Freshly roasted, great beans. Here we have some from my teammate, Michael Albacini, importing these right into Switzerland from Italy. And uh, roasted just last week. You, the, you wanna drink your beans within three, or sorry, sorry, four to seven days of roasting. After that, you know, you have 10 days, 12 days. After that, throw them out. They're not good anymore. You want the best coffee experience, fresh beans, good beans, and then you're set. There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed my top five coffee tips. And if you're ever swinging through Girona, why don't you stop on by for a brew? <laughs>